Hello and welcome to another Serial Experiment Lane episode. Today I made a quick guide on installing Steam with NVIDIA, and enabling Proton. Proton is a wine implementation inside Steam, that allows us to run Windows games native on Linux. There is a huge collection of working titles already, and on ProtonDB website, we can see games compatibility, and workarounds on issues. And most importantly, we can also see Gardner, aka, the Linux Gamer. The one and only gaming YouTuber, that shows his face more than the actual games. Anyway, let's start with the NVIDIA drivers. The procedure is pretty same as in normal Fedora. The small difference is, that Silverblue doesn't yet include an NVIDIA repo, so first we are going to install RPM Fusion. RPM Fusion has already specific instructions for Silverblue, so just copy and paste those to the terminal. If the command was correct, everything would be better, but hey, it's Linux after all. After whatever installation, Silverblue requires a reboot to mount the new image, even when we add something as simple as the RPM Fusion repo. Then we normally add the NVIDIA drivers, with Kmod. And also remember to add CUDA, and 32-bit drivers, for Steam games. On a side note, the RPM Austri command, doesn't have autocomplete for RPM packages. Of course I already have NVIDIA, so the package is requested. Final step, open kernel arguments editor, and blacklist nouveau driver. It's not the right time to discuss it, but Silverblue is some crazy configuration tools. So, now you are done, and your base image should look like something like that. RPM Fusion is added as a local package and NVIDIA drivers are added as layered packages. I have uploaded another video on Silverblue development mode, so I won't explain that again. However, I want to show you something. Base reveal. Oh my god! Baby Nick, to Baby Dora. Okay, so, reason I opened development mode, was to edit the base image and run Nuke Studio. My point is that programs like DaVinci Resolve and Nuke, work fine on Silver Blue, or with small workarounds. And you don't seem to understand. I don't know if it's just me, but I believe this video totally lost focus. Okay, back to track. Next, we need Steam from FlatHub. I've seen some comments about issues with Flatpak Steam, but so far everything was working fine to me. By the way, if you have added FlatHub beta repo, you can get Steam from beta channel. Now, on Steam go to Settings. Then enable the beta participation. Then enable Steam for supported titles. And then select Proton 4. Steam will download Proton, and ask to restart and apply the changes. And then you can just get and play Windows games normally, like Final Fantasy XIV. Speaking of which, Final Fantasy doesn't work out of the box, and it needs a small hack. I won't go there on this video, but on ProtonDB, you will find many workarounds.
When we play such titles, Steam will tell us that is using Proton to run them. Anyway, I'm not for Final Fantasy now. I have to level up, on Soul Worker. That also uses Proton, and I have uploaded a gameplay video, with a super performance and zero bugs. And you don't seem the